Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video, I will talk about the time series analysis and about it's one of the method how you create a time series. So in the previous video, if you have seen in Python, I have shown you how you can use the series method for creation of time series. And in this video, I will show you a slightly different approach about how you can create a time series using a read underscore csv which is a generic function for reading any csv file but then using the date function date column as the index column so when we do that it basically creates the date time index so we will see what is the benefit and then we will move ahead uh, with some properties some methods that is related to it which you will find really useful all right so let's get started here in my Jupyter Notebook. So the name of this video you can say is creating date time index and then further using it. So first of all, we need to import the data. So the data that I have and I shown in my previous video is the date and close math, close value for the nifty stock index that we have here in NSE national stock exchange in India and it has the 10 years of data starting from 2007 going all the way down to 2017 uh, 11 29th november 2017 so we will get this data inside the um, inside the jupyter notebook and then use it for analysis all right so let's go ahead so here uh, first of all we need to import pandas as pd once we are there, then we will write nifty. Uh, we'll just give any name. So here it is, since it is nifty or nifty 50 or just nifty or NIC, whatever name we want to give, we can give. And then we will write pd dot read underscore cs. So I just pressed that tab after. So if you're wondering how this got uh, appeared, I just after read, I just press the tab and read underscore csv. So this is for beginners uh, who has recently started working in the Jupyter Notebook. And in there, we need to give the path. So the path, I think I have it here. Yeah, here on the nifty data. And if I copy this and paste it here, I just need to change it to forward slash. If you have a lot of forward slashes or big path, what you can do is as a tip is you can first paste it in a notepad or a word file or any other document processing software and do the find and replace. So find backslash, change it with the forward slash. And then we will write the name of the file nifty data.csv. I think that's what the file name is. Nifty data. Yes, that's the file name. And then after this, uh, one thing that we need to do is to create a date time index uh, to make sure that dates are coming properly. Sometimes they may create issues and not come properly. So we need to mention that take dates properly as dates. So for that, we use the parse underscore dates property of this function. And we will say, or a parameter I would say, and then within this name of the column. So the name of the column is date. All right, we are here. And then uh, we need to specify the date column as our index column. Otherwise, it will take it as a normal column. And uh, for that, you have the parameter index underscore call. So again, I press the tab and it auto completed it. So we will write date. Enter. So that has worked perfectly. Now let's see a couple of rows. Nifty dot head. So here, as you can see, it is present in a bold font format. So what it indicates, it's it is an index, and that's the benefit. By taking date as an index, it creates the date time index on which then we can perform some operations which are useful. So you have date, you have close values, and that is what you had it here in this file. After this, 
uh, one of the similar operations about uh, selecting any month or anything so for that it's pretty easy you just specify nifty you don't have to then again specify the date column if you remember in my previous video you had to specify the date column but now since we have taken date as an index you don't have to do that so for that now just go ahead 2007 let's say i need 10th that means october information so here i have all my october data all of this data is present and uh, let's say i want uh, from 5th of october to uh 20th of october 2017 7 20 um, 10 and 20 and press enter so here i have now the range as well selected for my for my specific month period after this if you want to perform some sort of an operation so right now you are getting the close value but let's say you want maybe things like mean or max or some you can do that so let's try to do that here with nifty on a let's say a particular month so for example we may have 2015 and 5 that means may and then we want the mean of close values so here we have mean Similarly, you can have max, you can have min, all of that different functions which are generally available to you uh, to perform on a series like close on a numeric series. You can do the perform, they even perform the operations on this nifty data. After that, a general question comes into the mind that uh, if I let's say need all the month information or mean or the average of all the month of let's say entire series for example if i need that do i need to write all of these things like one first 2015-05 then another similar statement for june july august which probably is not a scalable method one can argue that uh, okay we can do a for loop where we can iterate over the different month values of a series and you know create the average yeah that's that's a doable thing another thing or which is a handy thing in here is in pandas is basically the method resample that uh, often applies on the time series index like this which has a date time index so what we can do is let's say we want the monthly data for the close prices that we have so what we need to do is simply nifty and uh, specify the column name close and then say resample resample and within the resample we need to pass the argument m which means month if you need daily d if you need weekly w if you need yearly then y all right mean and if I press enter, you have right from the month, uh, September month in 2007 to, to 2017, uh, November month, you have for each month, you have fund value. And that's, I would say, a great benefit of this uh, re resample method. And it's a file that's in each weekly i will just specify weekly and now you will see that for september i have two values two data points for october i have uh, five four data points for november i have four data points for december i have five data points one for each week so it has a lot of different parameters what you can do i just clicked over here to put the cursor inside this and i am pressing shift tab tab to basically see uh, its different parameters and what I can do is uh, I just clicked over there and uh, here I have a entire explanation if I want to go deep down into it so with this uh, I can 
I can simply go deep down into it, the different parameters and all that they have used. So if you want to know much deeper inside this function, resample for getting a good grasp on your time series for doing the uh, exploratory data analysis or you know uh, slicing and dicing and put the time series as per the way you want then this is the method you should really explore to to get an expertise on time series data so with that uh, I, I the, the expectation the the thing which I wanted to show you is the various straightforward parameters uh, so week month and year that you can specify and get the average similarly apart from average if uh, there is a time series on which you need some you can get some max min and all of that thing for each of the month so so that's that's a method uh, you have at your disposal to use it after this last but not least is plotting the time series so we will use mat percentage mat plot flip in line and we will say uh, we will plot the close prices so nifty close column and then simply plot and here we have that's that's what we did a uh, similar operation we did in, in our last video so i just wanted to show you how you can do it over here um, apart from this uh, if you need to change the format a little bit for example the bar for each year probably or the power for each month then you can do that with the help of the resample method so for example we have nifty and with that we have close and resample as a resample and then let's say year we want and we want average and then plot after all of this operation we will specify the plot and uh, we need the power plot so probably why it does not specify let's try and specifying the m i will see why it why it is not taking the y value because that's how it should ideally show the year value so month so there are like a lot of months and because of that your values are coming in in such a way so in this case if let's say you want to specify you want to get a proper output and for example you want a bar plot plot for let's say one year what you can do is simply say nifty and within this specify let's say 2016 and then your close prices dot resample sample by month dot mean average plot kind is equals to bar and you can get specific information about your 2016 data so that's that's how you can plot the different values uh, either on the line chart if you are not specifying kind is equals to bar it will by default take the line chart because it is a time series data and if we are uh, you know interested in a different kind of chart then we can specify what kind of chart we want over here and specify the arguments accordingly so one other thing uh, where we got the error I just checked the documentation for the yearly data so while plotting the yearly data over here it was giving us the problem so it's basically an a parameter instead of y i was just going with month and, and yearly y but it is annual and that's why it is a so what we can do is we can simply now put get the yearly chart over here so that's a quick uh, correction on how to plot the yearly values is using the a parameter within the resample and not the y so with that uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video and I will meet you in the new video for a new topic.